welcome back. My name is Rohan Bijou, and on this channel, we reviewed a ton of monitors from the Samsung Odyssey G5, G7, which had some pretty good designs, but we also got some pretty bland monitors that really didn't have a sophisticated design, kind of looked pretty bland in a total gaming setup. But if you are really looking forward to an amazing design, your obvious choice would be Alienware. They have some really, really good stunning designs that are completely futuristic, and they also, you know, have some great specs. Well, sort of. And today we'll be reviewing the Alienware AW2720HF for $430. It's a really cool monitor with some decent specs with an amazing design and we'll get a lot into it in this video. So before we start, subscribe to the channel if you wanna watch more future content. Like this video if you found this helpful and comment any questions or concerns and I'll try my best to answer them. So let's move on with the video. Awesome, so let's first start with the unboxing. Oh my God, this might be the heaviest monitor I've ever reviewed, it weighs so much. <sighs> awesome, and the box is really nice. Let's pop this baby open. So to do that, you'll have to remove these four white things that hold the box in place, and then you have to cut the tape and pop the box open. Inside, you'll find some foam, and this monitor is really fortified. It's really well protected. Inside, you'll find an instruction manual, then you got the base, the neck of the monitor, which has inbuilt RGB, and it actually feels really hefty. You can also get a power cable as well. You'll also get the back panel separately in a foam cover. This is to hide the wires and the ports, which we'll explain in the future. You also get some cables like an HDMI cable, display port cable, and a USB cable. Finally, let's pull the monitor out of the box and it really feels sturdy. And to finish off building the monitor, you'll have to connect the base with the stand by screwing them together. Then you'll have to connect your monitor to the base itself, like the entire stand. And it's really easy, you just stick it in and it's all set. Then you have to connect your monitor to power and then connect a PC or console and then you're finally set to start your gaming experience. And that is basically it for the unboxing and setup. So now let's move on to the specs and sort of my experiences on those specs. All right, first off is design. I mean, right off the bat, you can see that this is a gamer focused monitor with sleek design that looks really, really futuristic. The monitor is entirely made out of plastic, but it's extremely sturdy and feels really solid. So you don't have to worry about any wall or instability. Also, there might be a problem right off the bat because the base of the monitor is extremely huge. So if you really care about your desk space, you might have to switch to an arm or some other third party base to work with your space. The monitor comes in a white colorway and it looks absolutely stunning in almost every setup. Obviously on the back, you get some amazing RGB lighting, which is actually split into zones, which can change the effects lighting on the monitor's interface using the Alienware FX software. You can use this RGB to color your back, stand, or the power button, and this just gives an amazing splash of colors if you choose to place the monitor near a wall. It just gives some amazing ambient lighting while you game, and even the Alien Head logo has RGB and lights up, which is a really nice touch. Also on the back, you'll notice a large 27 written, which looks really clean and it looks really nice in that font. You can also notice on the left-hand side, we got four buttons and a joystick on the top. This will be mainly used to control the OSD so that you can customize your setup as much as you need. The ergonomics on this monitor are absolutely insane. For the stand, you can tilt, swivel, change the height, and even make your monitor go vertical, and the ranges are really wide, so you can go pretty far with the ergonomic customization. If you don't wanna use the stand that comes with the monitor, you can definitely use a 100 by 100 vest amount by using this quick ejection button. There are so many options for connectivity on this monitor. There are two HDMI 2.0 ports, one display 1.2 port, four USB 3.0 ports, a USB Type-B upstream port for your computer, and a fixed line-out port. So I'll be mostly using my Xbox One X with this monitor, so stick around if you wanna see some Halo Infinite gameplay, Hitman 3, and just some other games to see. So complementary to the ports, you will also notice a really nice place that we mentioned in the beginning that pops right off to hide the ports. There is also a wire management hole on the stand of the monitor, which just declutters your space and makes the monitor look even more cleaner. And that is basically it for the physical specs. Let's talk more about the internals and the display itself. So the AW2720HF has a 27 inch 1080p IPS panel with a 240 Hz refresh rate, which is crazy fast if you want some beautiful gameplay. The aspect ratio is 18 by nine and the pixel density is 82 PPI. So the IPS panel in 
ensure some amazing viewing angles so you won't see any distortion of color or even brightness, which is really nice. So it's safe to bring a friend or relative to see you play a game from the side without any distortion. And this is a huge improvement from TN panels, which Alienware used to use, which are usually best for high refresh rate, but fail in the viewing angle aspect. The bezels are 0.3 inches, which some people may not like, but I don't really mind. This monitor supports SDR and has a peak brightness of 330 nits. This should be amazing for gaming in a bright room where the monitor will be well lit. And speaking of well lit rooms, there might be concerns because of the reflection. The monitor actually handles reflections extremely well due to its matte finish on the display, which reduces any glare. Now let's talk about the contrast ratio, which is about 877 to one. And this really isn't that great. And if you are used to playing games in a darker setup, the blacks on the screen will look a bit more gray than usual. The response time is one millisecond, which you will have to take with a pinch of salt because they probably came up with that number on overdrive, but it's still amazing. If you want the best response time possible, you have to go through the settings, move it up to the extreme to get the best possible response time. The input lag is 2.8 milliseconds, which is ideal. This monitor is also free sync and G-Sync compatible compatible for some tear-free gaming. And like with other monitors I've reviewed, G-Sync only works over the display port. This monitor covers all of the sRGB color space and over 75% of the Adobe RGB color space. Also, if you want some better color accuracy on this monitor, it'd be great to switch to RPG mode so you can get some stunning colors. The colors may seem warm, but you can definitely customize it to your liking. I personally think this isn't really the best monitor for color grading or for you know videos or photography since the colors may seem off. So based on my personal experience, I've enjoy this monitor. For the design, it looks amazing. It's white and it has this RGB on the back and makes it really futuristic. It does take up a lot of desk space, which I've gotten used to, but if you really don't like that, you might have to switch to a third party stand or just completely you know, not choose this monitor. It's totally up to you. So there might be some problems along the way that I've noticed. Obviously, as I mentioned before, blacks look kind of gray if you're in a dark room and the colors look like kind of washed out. Unless you customize it yourself, you can probably get the best image possible based on your liking, but on the default setup, it doesn't really look that great. But overall, the refresh rate is so high and the response time is pretty good. Basically, you won't see any reflections. It's really that great. And I personally played Halo Infinite, Hitman, Jedi Fallen Order. Um, I got some really smooth gameplay and it was just a total blast to have. It looked really nice. And the Alienware OSD is a total blast because it has so many customization options and it's really intuitive. So if you're looking for a monitor with some amazing design, some pretty good specs overall, this is a monitor you can definitely choose. And I'll leave links in the description for Best Buy, Amazon. And if you are looking for other monitors, I've created a monitor playlist with different monitors like the Samsung Odyssey G5, G7, and you can find them right on this iCard. So if you're looking for that, you can definitely go ahead. And if you really are interested in this Alienware monitor, you can also go ahead and let me know if you do already have it. So before it. we end this video, subscribe to this channel if you wanna watch more future content, like this video if you found this helpful, and comment any questions or concerns, and I'll try my best to answer them. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.